From discolored green water in the bathtub where he died, to conspiracy theories that Aaron's death wasn't an overdose, here's everything you need to know about the pictures that Jane Carter shared of her son's death scene. Let's start by talking about the photos. At this point, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that the American rapper was found dead in his bathtub in November 2022. It really was a tragedy. And recently, Aaron's mom shared some pretty disturbing pictures of the aftermath of his death. Apparently, it was the maid who discovered the body, and the coroners quickly ruled it off to be a drug overdose. Of course, it kind of makes sense considering Aaron's had a history of drug abuse. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though, because we'll talk about that later. Right. Yeah. Look at my teeth. Yeah. Look at my face. I'm not a meth head. I've never touched it in my life. Right now, let's talk about the photographs. Jane Carter posted the graphic images of Aaron's bathroom as she attempted to draw attention to the case. According to her, both his family and friends wanted this step to be taken. The pictures were taken at her Lancaster, California home literally the day that Aaron died, and they're pretty disturbing. There were a total of five pictures, and if you want to skip the grisly details, I'd suggest skipping 30 seconds or so of this video. So firstly, there was a picture showing green water in the bathtub, from which Aaron's body was retrieved. It was most likely discolored because of the natural bodily after effects following the death. After all, Aaron was in there for hours before the maid found him. I can't even imagine how terrible that must have been. That's not all, though. There are images showing towels and clothes sprawled on the floor, again with tinged water surrounding them. Jane confirmed that these photos weren't taken by the police, and that's exactly why she's so upset. According to her, the police are not taking her concerns seriously. For one, they didn't close off the scene and allowed people to tromp through the death scene, which is probably the first thing you're not supposed to do. After all, very important evidence can be disrupted. All in all, Jane shared her utter disappointment with the law enforcement authorities. Understandably, she's upset that the death is just being ruled off as a drug overdose. Lancaster Police Department was there many, many times on welfare checks, uh, sent there by different people. And, uh, you know, the night that he died, um, Melanie said that there was a welfare check and there was obviously not a welfare check. According to her, there should have been at least an investigation, and she's got a point. For one, the official story goes that the maid discovered Aaron in the bathtub and attempted CPR. But if that's true, why were the towels still perfectly placed? And why wasn't there any water that overflowed on the floor? Something's definitely fishy here. Jane shared that the police just wanted it to be something easy. They didn't seem to have the time or inclination to address the potential crime, and were glad that they could just rule it off as a drug overdose because of Aaron's past. The devastated mother added that she wants answers and wants justice for her dear son. And that's why Jane shared the images. She wanted to share all the clues with the world so everyone could try and figure out what happened. Uh, there was never any kind of homicide investigation, which there should have been. Uh, that house should have been closed off. People were tromping through, just like I said. And uh, I just... I think it's wrong. Was there any foul play? Well, an autopsy was conducted by the coroner's office, and it officially ruled out drowning as a potential cause of death. There was no water in Aaron's lungs, which is why they chalked off the untimely death to an overdose. But Jane just doesn't buy it. She's confident that Aaron didn't want to die, and that he didn't even have that much aerosol. Instead, she claims that there were people after Aaron who were supposedly harassing him online. She thinks they're the ones behind it all, but we'll get into that later. Let's first talk about whether it could be an overdose. Apparently, Aaron had already started struggling with a drug addiction at the tender age of 18. We can assume that, over the years, his addiction only got worse because, in 2017, he was caught driving under influence and was arrested. The former child star even admitted himself to rehab. Even so, Carter had spent his entire life at odds with his addiction. Uh, it started when I was about 16. My sister Leslie, who passed away from an overdose, got me into it. Didn't really touch it until I was about 23, right after I did Dancing with the Stars. 
Then I started going to Staples and Office Depot. And According to reports, local law enforcement also discovered prescription pills and cans of compressed air in the bathroom where he died. But how bad is it really? What sort of substance abuse was he even involved in? Turns out Carter has mostly indulged in marijuana and opiates, and it seems like they've taken a psychological toll on him. The rapper was diagnosed with multiple personality disorder, schizophrenia, and acute anxiety. Perhaps these were the reasons for the apparent suicide. I guess we'll never really know. But Aaron's mother remains adamant that he did not intend to die this way. So, what does she think happened? Jane Carter thinks that Aaron made a drug deal on the night he died, and that deal is somehow connected to his untimely death. And she's not the only one who thinks this. Aaron's fiance, Melanie Martin, believes the same. In fact, Melanie may have the proof to back it up. In an interview with TMZ, she talked about the text messages she found on Aaron's phone. Apparently, he was getting texts from a guy who was demanding eight hundred dollars for an unknown substance. Of course, they think the unknown substance was some kind of drug. Like I said, Carter had spent some time in rehab and it seems like he was trying to turn over a new leaf. He replied to the man saying he no longer needed the substance. In response, the guy said that was irrelevant because Carter still owed him the 800 bucks. And there was definitely something off about the whole conversation. Even Aaron asked if he was being threatened. And what did he get in response? Nada. There was definitely an ominous air about about the whole scenario. The guy never replied, and the next thing you know, Carter's found dead. Even though Melanie submitted these texts to the police as evidence, it seems like they just didn't follow up on this lead. Which, again, goes to show that Jane just might be right about the concerns she's expressed. And that's what fans think, too. For some reason, everyone is just convinced that this isn't your ordinary drug overdose. Carter just had too many enemies for it to be this simple. Mod fans have a crazy theory in mind. Now, stay with me here. According to fans, Kanye West may be behind the child star's death. I know, it sounds absolutely crazy, but hear me out, because they might be onto something. On November 3rd, 2022, Aaron tweeted his last tweet, and it was directed at Kanye. He said, Yo Kanye, let's talk, man to man. Yikes. The worst part is, nobody's really sure what this is about. There is one conspiracy theory in the works, though. We all know that Kanye's been a little off the rails lately. Apparently, he was on a streak of exposing all things Hollywood. Many believe that Aaron was wary of this fact. Maybe he didn't want Kanye to air his dirty laundry. So, Kanye killed him? Nah. Sounds like a bit of a stretch to me. Either way, one thing is certain. Fans fully support Jane and Melanie and are convinced that there's something more to the story. They fully sympathize with Aaron's family and, like them, are demanding justice. And that's exactly what Jane wants. She says her son's death must be properly investigated, for Melanie's sake and anyone who truly loved him. I mean, poor Melanie has the burden of coping with such harrowing news. All while she single-handedly raises Prince, her one-year-old son with Carter. It's just tragic beyond words, and the fact that the police are refusing to do their job makes matters worse, which is exactly why Jane shared the photos online. It's her way of protesting the complacency of law enforcement, and that's all you need to know about the disturbing photos that Aaron Carter's mom shared.